Hey guys, so I was recently at Marshall's kind of perusing because I really honestly haven't had a chance to just browse and window shop since this whole virus thing, the stay at home order. So thankfully in our order it has been lifted and we are able to go out while still being safe and being cautious and distancing. So I decided to walk around Marshall's and I found some really interesting things that I thought that I would try today with you. If you'd like to see what I found at Marshall's, a try on and hear my thoughts, then just keep watching. The first product that I found is actually from Milani. This is their Amber Nectar Illuminating Face Powder. And I have been really liking illuminating powders lately. I generally go for like the Do You powders or I have a Physician's Formula one that I like a lot or the Hourglass ones, but those are quite pricey. This one was $3.49. So we'll try this one. I also, also picked up the Mac and Patrick Star face powder in hot and heavy. And I've been eyeing this one for a while, but I wasn't gonna pay full price. I think it was like 20 some dollars. And I just kept waiting. I'm like, it'll go on clearance eventually. And wouldn't you know, five bucks on clearance. So I actually have two finishing powders. I wanna try this one first. It looks like it has a bit more color. And then we'll try the Patrick Star one. So this is what it looks like. It's beautiful, it has like peach and bronze and like ivory, really pretty. So just gonna swirl my finger in there. It looks like it's a nice, I don't know, it looks like it might be even like a bronzery shade. Bronzery, like that's a word. So now let's check out the Patrick Star and MAC one, beautiful teal packaging. The chevron design inside, which is gorgeous. And this one looks like it's a bit more of like a gold tone finishing powder and much more reflective. So this one I'll probably use for like more of a highlight and this one for more of like a, maybe a bronzer topper. So I'm just gonna dip into the Milani one with this little Real Techniques 201 brush and see what kind of color we can get on our forehead. Okay, it's like a peachy glow. It honestly reminds me of like that golden hour glow that you get when the sun's setting. Really pretty. So this is nothing, and this is with that Milani glow powder. All right, I like that. Now with a different brush, let's try the Patrick Star one. Different brush, not the one I used before. It has much more gold to it. All right, so his is a bit more gold and this one has a bit more peach and like apricot to it. So if you like more gold colors, I would recommend going for the Mac and Patrick Star one. If you like more of a warm glow, then I would say go with the Milani. Now I did wanna see how close this one is to the holiday one they came out with, I believe a year or two ago. This one is Here Comes Joy. And this one I remember being a bit peachier. So here is Patrick's, here is the holiday one, and they are pretty similar. This one definitely has a little bit more rose to it, but they're not far off. So I would say if you have one, you probably don't need both. Next up, we have a product from Revolution, Makeup Revolution London. This is their Bronze and Glow Chocolate Bar Bronzer and Highlighter. And I really haven't tried a whole lot from Makeup Revolution, or I think they're just called Revolution. I think I tried one of their concealers and one of their glowy bronzers. And that's probably the extent of my experience with the brand. But it looks like this, it's like a gold dipped chocolate bar. And inside we have, it looks like a nice contour shade and a beautiful bright highlight. So let's start with swatches here. Oh, they're so soft. All right, that might be a little too light for me. It doesn't smell like chocolate like I was wondering if it would. All right, so here we have the bronzer, which is barely showing up on me. Ooh, and the highlight. So this looks like it would be catering more towards a lighter skin tone. This, I mean, would be a nice contour. It's definitely gonna look shadowy on me. This one might be a little too bright for my current skin tone, but we will give it a try. And don't mind the crazy eyes. I had to take off the makeup on my eyes because I tried something and didn't like it. So we'll get to that in a second. So let's start off with a little highlight. 
Ooh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. It's not as light as I was expecting it to be. Like, it kind of blends in, blends out a little bit, kind of diffuses. It's not chunky, it's not glittery. That's really nice. I like this combined with the other glow powders I have on my face already. Might be a little too icy for the uh, Cupid's bow, but I think on the cheeks it looks really pretty. So now let's try the bronzer contour shade with this Milani brush. I have a feeling it's gonna be too light or too ashy. It's just like a very, very light, light contour. Don't mind the sun here. My window up here is not completely covered. A little sliver of light gets through when it's super high in the sky. All right, it's, it's there, just needs to be built up a bit. That's actually a really nice color. I'm surprised. My only comment with this one though is I feel like I would go through bronzer a lot faster than I would highlight, so I'm wondering why they made the bronzer pan smaller than the highlight. Highlight, you just use a little bit here and here. The bronzer you use on your forehead, you use on your cheekbones, some people use it on their jawline, on their neck. So I feel like of the two, the sizes should be reversed, but the color seems really nice. The formula seems very smooth and easy to work with. So I feel like if you have fair to light skin tone and you see this at TJ Maxx Marshalls, I would say pick it up, it's pretty good. And I paid I paid $4.99 for this one. Let me hop off and add a little brows and blush and prime the eyes and we'll be back to try the last product. Okay, eyebrows and blush are on. I just apply a little bit of the Essence The Blush in the shade 50 Blooming. I think this is a really like flattering, just easy blush. The last product I picked up at Marshalls is this BH Cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray palette, which the colors look really appealing to me. You've got warms, you've got cools, you've got shimmer, you've got matte, and this one was $5.99, so we're gonna check this one out today. Inside looks like this. It is a bronzy, rosy gold palette. And the pans are kind of on the small side, but that's pretty typical for BH Cosmetics. I used to have like a 100 pan palette back in the day with like a black cover that I would use all the time. Um, so I know that their formula is pretty good. So it looks like we've got like our bronzy row, Actually, it goes this way. It looks like we have bronze, yellow, shimmer, yellow, matte, pinky, gold, burgundy, shimmer, burgundy, matte. We've got like a warm brown, shimmery purple, matte purple, a deeper brown, shimmer blue, matte blue, dark brown, matte. It looks like maybe a green brown shade and a deep green matte color. So we'll see what we can come up with today. I think I'm going to start off with the yellow shade in here and see what that looks like. Okay, it's nice and pigmented. It's definitely more of like a muted yellow than a neon yellow. If you want a neon yellow, I highly recommend the Norvina mini palette, the one with like the lime green, the bright orange, the bright yellow. That one is awesome for neons. It's not a mustard yellow, but it's not a bright yellow. It's more like a sunshiny yellow. No, that's not right. It's more of like a fall sunflower yellow where it's not as bright as it could be and it's starting to fade, something like that. Next, I'm going to go into Brick, this one right here. And I was previously using Canary, which is not really the color of a canary. Canaries are like a bright white yellow. I think that's really pretty so far. Then I think I'm gonna go in one shade darker and go into Bark. Yes, I like that. I'm gonna go into Golden Girl, this metallic yellow with my finger and just kind of put it on the inner corner of the lid. I'm gonna go back into Brick and just kind of fade the two together. Actually, I think I'm also gonna take a little bit of top notch and put that on the center of the lid. 
that's really pretty. So I'm just gonna finish up the other eye. Okay, so I applied a little mascara, kind of like a mascara cocktail. I used a Milk Makeup Mascara, a Smashbox Mascara, a MAC Mascara. I don't know, I just keep playing until I get the desired result with the mascaras that I have in my collection. And I have to say, I really like the way that this look turned out. It's a little bit gold, a little bit peach, a little bit bronze. It's really, really pretty, really flattering for blue and green eyes, which I have like a hybrid. My eyes are gray, blue, or green, depending on the day. So I think this is a nice little palette. I wish they had a black in here, um, but this metallic bronzy is, color is really unique. It looks bronze in the pan, but then you swatch it and it has like little tiny blue flecks in it. Really, really pretty. I also wanna swatch this kind of like teal shade. Yeah, it's like a teal, brown, purple kind of duochrome color, really pretty and fun to play with. So I'm happy with my $6 palette purchase. I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of these colors in this row here, these as well. I also love using green as a liner on my eyes, so I could see myself doing that as well. The blues and the purples, I, I'll be honest, I probably won't be touching these, but I like these rows, this, and this whole row here. So I think it's a nice palette, and I really like the end look that I was able to achieve using these colors. So all in all, I think that my Marshall's purchases were a success. I like both of my finishing powders. I really like the contour and highlight palette from Revolution and the It's My Ray Ray palette from BH Cosmetics. I really have no complaints about these finds. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, seeing try on swatches, hearing my first thoughts. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Oh, and this shirt is also from TJ Maxx Marshall's for like five or six dollars. So had to wear something from those stores as well. So see you in my next video. Bye guys.